We got our clear questions presented to you by Clear Rum. Clearrum.com. Check it out. The clear water. Oh, you love the clear water. I like the clear crush now, but the clear water. Yeah. That's, uh, that's it, right? my jam right now. Or just the clear See on that? the rocks. Hydrating while you're dehydrating. Why not? Hey, Makes you got to do it. Sense. It does make perfect sense. That's why you look like you're 32 years old. <laughs> I wish. I'm concerned. My daughter's going to get me aging here more yeah, and more well, yeah. than I really am. <laughs> yeah. But uh, That's a different story. Yeah, yeah that's I'm a different more story. clear water. Who knows? Yeah, I might be drinking more of that now. <laughs> but, All right. Uh, yeah, well, clear questions, baller. What do you got? We have an email from Angelo Rossina. Since it's episode 99, have either of you met Gretzky or have a story about him? And another question who would you say is the Wayne Gretzky of Philly? Obviously not as good, but. Ooh. Hmm. Well, Kerbal, I've never met Wayne Gretzky. Obviously, I followed him growing up, and in my opinion, the best player to ever play. But, um, Nast, I think you've met a couple Yeah, of I've, I've been fortunate. I've I met him a few times. Um, like, one of the nicest people ever, you know, like, especially for who he is. He thinks he's nothing. It's kind of funny. He makes fun of himself. But I was able to meet him a bunch of times and then i got to work with him at the all-star game in 2017 right. when our boy wayne train won the mvp uh what a weekend but he was our coach and he was great um a funny story i guess uh one of the things that i can tell uh it was it was kind of funny because paul coffee was on the bench with us as well and uh we're, we're first game of the you know tournament or whatever you want to call it and it's three on three so you got two two forwards and a d so you only have three d well i think it was it was justin falk had a tough start his first shift and uh the game just began like they scored right away he comes off and and gretz looks over he looks over to cough and goes hey he's done yeah. Like, like he can't play, like he's benching him, right? right? And you only have 3D, like, so you can't do that. And I just remember laughing. He reminded me of something Chief would no, do yeah. or say. Sarcastic. Um, and it was pretty funny, too. I was standing in between Koff and uh, Paul Coffey and, and Wayne Gretzky, and, and uh, Chris Chelios kept FaceTiming him, and he was on the beach oh. in L.A. And uh, he's talking, and it's kind of loud in there. I'm like, how can you? He's, they're holding the phone right here, and they're both, like, trying to talk as we're co- as, they're, as they're coaching. Like, during this is during wow. the game. And, Couldn't and wait. Gretz is, like, trying to, like, pay attention, you know? like And it's kind of funny, and uh, Gretz, like, looks over, and he goes, flip over, because he was all red. Uh. Chelly was, like, all red on his front side. He's like, flip over. I'm like, Jesus Christ. It That's was pretty hilarious. funny, but really, really nice, man. Like, uh, Rick Tockett, one of our good buddies, is – best buddies with him and yeah just always great yeah, always things to say classy and things about yeah Greg. he's just he's a class act for yeah. sure man well, what do you got great there guys uh, nice well, to use that speaking, thing I, speaking of I this i got this i think about in 94 95 this is uh wow what a isn't that awesome piece of art that yeah. thing is he he asked me you want me to sign your name and i was like i i don't know i what, whatever he goes i'll just okay that's fine but uh, it's really cool. These his sticks used to come with these on them already. Oh, really? They, hey? Yeah, this is like way. B- now these are, you know, the, I did not. The know not that. Yeah, uh, all the sticks came that way, and he had baby powder on them. Wow. Uh, but yeah, I got this. Uh, Rick Tockett was playing with the Kings, and it, we were standing in the change room uh, at the Spectrum, the old Spectrum, and uh, he was like, "Yeah, you, you one of Gretz's sticks." I was like, "No, not, you know, it's my third year, I think, in the league." And I, I was like, no, I, I don't. But, like, I'm like, I don't want to ask him. He goes, oh, fuck that. <laughs> He's like, Gretz, could he get one of your – He's like, yeah, sure, man. He goes oh, over, wow. grabs it off the rack and, it's like, That's so you know, nice. and signed it. He was, just, he was like, there you go. And I was like, oh, my God. Like, he's like, this is my favorite – obviously, my probably my favorite stick that oh, I have. Course, I mean, yeah. it's, it's unbelievable. I have, a, I have quite a collection. I've been fortunate to get a lot. I've got, you know, Mario Lemieux and mm-hmm. some guys like that. But this is like – and it's that shiny stuff. Oh, thing. yeah. I There's remember. some weight to it, though. Yeah, I, I used one of those bad boys back in the yeah, day. Yeah, so – Didn't that's, have quite the same finesse, but uh, – Well, I mean, you were right there. You got same, <laughs> same, same damn curve. blade. Yeah, same <laughs> same <laughs> blade, same curve. <laughs> same blade. I was trying to mimic what Gretter was doing. Yeah, exactly. Didn't – didn't transpire no eh, but it's yeah, all right it but that's that's my uh that's one of my stories about Wayne. Story. he's a great guy i love it 